Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Daniel. I have a wife called Bethany and a daughter called River and we are the Youngs. So we usually make family vlogs. We make about three videos a week. So we usually do videos on just kind of what we get up day to day. But today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. This is actually the first time I've ever filmed a video on my own. So I'm a little bit nervous. Today I want to talk to you about living with one arm. So if you have watched our channel and our vlogs, you'll know already that I was born with one arm. So as you can see, um, I have a right arm, um, which I'm showing you right now. And then my left arm goes from my shoulder basically to my elbow. Um, and that's what I have and I can move it around. I wanted to talk to you about what it's like to live with one arm, how come I have one arm, and just a few other different things um, to get chatting about, and we'll see what happens. So when I meet someone for the first time, usually once they've done with all the small talk, like the, how are you doing, oh, it's nice weather today, one of the first questions that people ask me is, how do you live with one arm? And my answer every single time is, to be honest, if I had another arm, I don't think I'd know what to do with it. And that's easy for me to say because I've always only had one. But there are some people with missing limbs who did have both their arms and then they've lost, lost them both or just one of them. That would be far harder because then you have to relearn how to do things with just one arm because you're used to doing them with two. I encourage you guys to go and check out Reach. I'm going to leave their website right here and you can go and check them out. That's a charity that I've been a part of since I was a kid. It's all about people with missing limbs. It gives advice for parents and children with missing limbs. And it's just a really good community of support for people who have that, um, because we all need support. I was born this way, um, which means I've all, always only had one arm. So I only know how to do things with one arm. And don't get me wrong, I do use my little arm, which I actually call Junior. When I was at primary school, a friend um, who was in my class affectionately named him Junior. So it was always Dan and Junior together. We used to fist bump like that. So I can use Junior to hold things, uh, which is very handy. So I guess some of you are maybe thinking, how come you were born with one arm? Like, what was the reason? Uh, was there a condition or something like that? I can tell you basically that it was a complete just surprise for my parents, so it didn't show up in the scans when my mum was pregnant and the doctors didn't really know ahead of time. It was just a little surprise for them when I was born and it wasn't due to any drugs or any condition. It's just something that sometimes happens to some people. And that's, I guess, why we're all different. Some of you might be wondering, like, I'm a, I'm a dad, I'm a vlogger, I, I work in marketing and design, I work with computers, I drive. Like, how do I do all these things with one arm? How do you drive with just one arm? We had to look at this a little bit differently, my parents and I. I couldn't drive a manual because I would have to reach over to change the gear. So we had to get an automatic car and we also got it fitted with a steering wheel knob thing. Now on that thing, I can control the indicators, the lights, the washers, the, the horn, so I don't need to ever take my hand off the steering wheel, which is very handy. That's what allowed me to, to drive safely. I actually don't need that legally to drive, but I can drive an automatic and it's, uh, it's easy to do. Obviously, I mentioned that I'm a dad to River. Before she was born, I started to get really nervous just about how I was gonna do all my fatherly duties just with one hand. I'd watch friends um, have kids and change nappies and hold really fragile little babies and I just got so nervous about doing all those things with one hand because it would just be an absolute nightmare if I, you know, if I dropped her, that's what I was nervous about. I, I thought I would drop her or like hurt her or just not be able to do certain things and not be very helpful. But I can say completely I've managed to do everything and you just find a way. So I hold River a little differently than maybe other parents would and I managed to change her nappy. What I typically do, I'm gonna to have to sit forward here, is she's lying here and I will lift up her legs with my small arm and keep them propped up there while I wipe with a uh, wet wipe around there. And then it's, that's the hardest part. And then, then it gets easier when she, once you wiped her down. Some other things that I can do, you know, like hobbies and sports, I skateboard. I used to play for the first team in football when I was uh, younger. I played basketball, I abseil, I parasail, I mountain climb, I mountain bike. 
I'm just saying these things, not to boast, I'm just saying that you can do it, I can do anything. If people are curious how I manage to do things with one arm, you just find a way. It's maybe a little bit different. But I think the list of things I've done is probably a little bit more adventurous than my wife Bethany. She is probably just more nervous, more than anything, that she was hurt herself. But yeah, I, I literally can't think of anything that I can't do apart from ironing. Not so good at that, can I leave that one to Bethany. So looking back, I thought it'd be cool to just think back to how I coped with having one arm when I was younger. Um, and I just want this part to kind of be for any boys or girls who have missing limbs, whether that's arms, legs, whatever. If you're finding that hard, um, accepting yourself that way, I, I felt that completely. Living with one arm when I was younger was actually a mixed experience for me. So my parents raised me to be really confident and outgoing as a kid. And I remember in first, uh, in primary one or primary two, I can't remember which it was, the doctors were trying to get me fitted to wear a prosthetic arm. It used to kind of strap around here and then fit on the end of my arm and I had to kind of bend the fingers to make them hold things if I wanted to. Um, and I really didn't like wearing it. It was really heavy, it kind of swung around in my sleeve just wasn't a comfortable thing and it didn't really do anything for me either apart from make it look like I had two arms. I was happy with having one arm at that time. Um, it wasn't until I got to primary six and primary seven, which is about between nine and 11 years old, where I started to worry about being cool and being accepted and wanting girls to like me and find me attractive. That's when I started to get self-conscious. Mainly because kids can be mean. I, I remember being called one arm Dan, People would say things like, at least I've got two arms, or you've only got one arm. And those things were so hurtful as a, as a young kid. And I remember getting so upset about it. And I don't think anyone really knows this, but there were times when I would just be like lying in my bed, crying um, and really just praying and wishing that I just didn't have one arm. I just really wasn't happy the way I was. I didn't like being different from everyone else. When I went into secondary school, it wasn't so much people's mean comments and bullying that was the, the main way that I f felt self-conscious. It was more, it kind of progressed into just staring. So people would stare, people would maybe treat me differently. People would assume things which would frust really frustrate me because I, I can do anything just the same as someone with two hands. And it was also the age when I was trying to impress girls and be cool and you know every kid wants to be accepted and that was me as well and I was nervous that I wouldn't be accepted because I was different because of my arm. I'll be honest when I was a teenager I really struggled with self-confidence um, oh, basically because you know when everyone, all my friends were getting girlfriends I just was thinking in my head what girl kind of in the right mind when they think of their dream man, thinks of someone with one arm. And I, I just never thought I would get a girlfriend. I never thought that I would get married and be able to have a family and find someone who loves me for who I am and be able to live happily ever after. I just never thought that would happen when I was a teenager because I just didn't feel confident at all. And I just thought that someone, if they wanted to go out with me or be friends with me, would be accepting a kind of lesser person because I, I, I'm not the same um, as everyone else, which is completely, completely false. I know that now. However, I had really great friends at school and most people were just, didn't treat me any differently than anyone else. I had girlfriends, I had lots of friends and um, they were so supportive and just treated me like anyone else. I hope this video has been a positive one so far. And if there are any young people watching this with missing limbs, I just want to say to you, I'm, I'm a 29 year old guy with a, a kid and a wife and a house and I can drive and I can do lots of different things. And if you aren't at, quite at that stage, that's completely okay. I, I was there too. Everyone in life, regardless of whether you got one arm, two arms, three arms, you know, mental issues, any sort of disability, you're no different from anyone else. That's what I really want to leave um, this video saying. We're all no different from each other. We all struggle with different things. Everyone on the outside may look like they're fine and totally and nothing, nothing's bothering them, but that's not true. We all struggle with things. You can do anything. Like I said earlier, I think the list of things that I can't do has one thing on it and that's ironing. And I kind of leave that on that list because I just don't like ironing. 
you can do anything you want to, You'll, you can find a way and you can live your dreams, you can make things work and people will accept you for who you are. Um, but the first stage is just accepting you for who you are. Thank you for watching this video. Um, it was a little bit different, I was a little bit nervous to make this video so please let me know what you thought of it. If you have more questions about what it's like for me to live with one arm please send them to me, Instagram me, tweet me, Snapchat me, you can Facebook us as well or just comment below. And if you'd like me to make videos on changing a nappy with one arm, driving a car with one arm or just talking you through how I do certain things, please comment those things down below and I will gladly make a video about how I do them. Um, and if you have any questions, if you have one arm, if your friend has one arm, share this with them. But yeah, again, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, please give it a thumbs up. That totally helps our channel. Please subscribe as well. Thank you for everyone who subscribed. We actually just hit 700 subscribers today which we're really excited about. And we'll see you in a couple of days with a, a normal vlog. Thank you for watching, see ya. Beth HCR giving you cheek again. <laughs> Beth HCR, Millie, Millie Young. Are you commenting to Millie Young? Are you saying hello to Olivia Lane? Okay. <laughs>